Hi, I'm Valerie Hill, the director of the Robotics and Maker Fan Track with DragonCon. I will be making this video in conjunction with the Alternate History Fan Track. This is how to build a teapot racer. Thank you. The first thing that I want to do with my teapot racer is to paint the tea set that goes on top. Now, a lot of people will use just a teapot, but I kind of want to do a whole table setting. Now, I could leave it pink and purple, but I think it's more fun to make it look like an actual tea set. Normally, I would paint the whole thing, but since I want to um, adhere it to the car, then it's probably a good idea to not um, have any paint on the bottom of it. I will probably have to move it around and do a couple of coats. I'm not going to worry too much about the quality of the paint. Really, that's not the whole purpose of what we're doing. But I'm going to let this coat dry and then maybe turn it on its sides to get a little better coverage. All right, I have let it dry to the touch enough to go for another coat. may have to get out another can of paint. There's some streaks in it, but I'm not terribly worried about it. Okay, we are back for the last coat, possibly, uh, of our tea set. I've already taken the plates out because they were done well enough. Uh, so we're going to finish up the paint here. Alrighty, I think that will be good enough when it's 
dry, we will work on attaching it to the racer. We have moved inside after painting the pieces, though I have done a little bit more paint uh, on the teacups uh, because the pink was showing through uh, the teapot, however, and the plates did very well. So I'm going to use these little plates that I found to be the base for the tea set. Uh, basically, I thought it was a good size to be a tea tray for the project. They were not expensive, which is nice. So to get the tea tray to sit on top of the car is gonna be tricky. Um, what I'm basically gonna wanna do, I think, I mean, I guess I could have glued the teapot here, but I want the whole, the whole tray. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this scrap cardboard from something that I ordered and I'm going to cut it so that it will meet the top of the car and the bottom of the tea tray. I've got several different pieces I can take to put this together. I apologize, my chihuahua is acting up. I think that's a good height. Actually meets pretty well and once I glue it along with another piece for up here or maybe here that should do pretty well I think If you are a child, always use adult supervision when cutting anything with a blade. should do pretty well. Now it is time to attach it to the top of the vehicle. I'm unsure of if I want to make a thicker base to attach the teapot to. It might be a good idea. I'm going to go get the glue. back with my glue 
I'm just going to use some standard super glue for this project. I like super glue. If you're careful with it, it's pretty easy to use and it sticks to a lot of stuff. How was I arranging this? I think that is going to take some off of this right here before I do this. For a little bit more level the surface. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to put some glue here. And attach this and just hold it for a couple of minutes here. Oops. Well, I guess I'm doing it that way now. This may not take. It's not looking like it wants to stick. This may turn into a hot glue gun, glue gun project. Oh, that's not good. All right, what I'm going to do, because I'm having a little trouble here, is I'm just going to go ahead, put some glue on this. Sit it on here. And I may have to let it sit for a few minutes. and see um, see if it's going to stick because if not then I'm going to have to get my glue gun my hot glue I'm just going to go ahead and pause this while I'm trying to get this to attach so that you don't literally sit and watch glue dry. Okay, it seems like it is starting to dry. I kind of want to reinforce it a little bit, so I might go through and try to try to drip some some glue places that it could get more attached. Sorry. So here it doesn't meet up very well, but on this side it does have some contact. Okay, so while that's drying, it's pretty secure. So I'm going to go ahead and see about 
putting this on top here. I feel like it's a little angled, so I may have to maybe cut some more off the top of this. Or maybe not. I may just have to try to crush it a little bit. I just want this to be pretty pretty level. Yeah, that'll be pretty good, I think. So I'm gonna hold this down so that there is pressure for it to connect to the structure below. So now we've got an armature to attach the table to. So once that's attached, we'll have a tea tray or table, however you want to consider it, uh, attached to the top of this racer. Now, um, I don't really want all this cardboard to show. So I have gone to my workshop and gathered some fabric. Uh, I'm going to attempt to make a tablecloth to cover this up. So I'm going to set this aside. That's attaching pretty well. I'm going to close my glue up for now. I'm going to sit my little car aside so that we can work on the tablecloth. We won't need this cardboard for doing that. We will need a tape measure and I think I'm going to give it a beaded edge for decoration. I gather up my little teapot pieces. I won't need that. I will need scissors though. take this and we're going to figure out how much fabric that we need to make the tablecloth. I'd like it to hang down oops, I'd like for it to hang down over this. So I don't know if that is. Yeah, I think that's going to be good enough. I'm going to cut off this little section so it's easier to work with. These are not fabric scissors. I don't sew very much, so I'm not really, I don't really keep fabric scissors. Okay, 
So now we have a tablecloth. I'm probably going to clean the edges up on this a little bit. I might even make it hang over the teapot racer. I was going to make it round, but maybe I won't. It works okay. I had considered doing a thing where I put it over one plate and under another so that it looks more like a table. Of course, I'll have to clean up the edges to do that. And in fact, this piece of fabric might be too small to do that unless I round it out some. It doesn't really cover. I'm going to cut off a bigger piece and sandwich it between the two plates. I think I like that better. of a, fat, a scrap of fabric that I'm using so I think I'll probably just have to go from the larger areas. I think I'm going to cut a 14 inch section. not the best fabric cutter in the world.
So this cut does not have to be perfect because this is going to get trimmed. Like this is not the final. I'm just trying to get the section off so that we can work with it. That will cover adequately, I think. So I think now we can attach our bottom plate to the structure. may take some pressure to do. Probably also going to take some time to let this dry. And actually, maybe the healthier portion of glue to the higher areas. I don't know if this will hold. I certainly hope so. It doesn't then I can just go back at it with hot glue all right so while that's drying I'm gonna sit it aside and then work on our tablecloth So I'm going to go over here while this is drying and measure the height. So it looks like it needs to be about four inches on any side of the plate. So I need to clean up the edges because I've gotten it just about the right size. Yeah, it looks like I just need to clean up the edges a little bit and then round out the corners. So I can't fit all of that on camera. So just uh, I'm going to pause it for now while I do that. So I have found some newer scissors. That I have and they are making this so much easier and you know this is this is a project for the top of a remote control car it is you know by by far it's not going to be clothing that I wear um, so I'm sure that it is not perfect, but I think it will look very cute. I just want to kind of make this rounded. Once I'm done with it, it will not be terribly obvious that it's not um, perfectly round. Okay. 
Okay, I'm gonna round this side up here off. Looking fairly rounded. I'm going to round this off. Okay, so it's okay with me that it's a little bit wider than it is long. That's all right. Let me see how we're doing. Okay, it looks like our table is adhering pretty well. I like to do a lot of dry fitting while I'm doing my projects because you, know, you get you get an idea of if it's going well before you make any permanent moves on it. So I think we're doing pretty good here. We'll probably even out where this falls at, though I do like having that particular flower right in the center. Though honestly with the teapots on it and everything, I'm not sure that anyone's going to see the placement of that really. I had prepared to put some edging on this. I'm not sure how that is going to go. So we're going to do another dry fit. I'll take this aside and let that continue to dry. Let's see. So let's see how this wraps around the edges. If I took some glue and I sandwiched it like this, what kind of an edge would that make? It'd be kind of a weighted edge, really. No, I think that could work. All right, let's try it. If it doesn't work, I'll just take it back off. Let's see. Hmm. I'm going to try it. I'm going to glue the first of it on the outside. A few little drops there and see how well it adheres. 
We said if it's not adhering well, then we'll just we'll just forget about it. I'm doing this so I don't get glued to the edging. All right, it looks like that's holding a little bit. I know it's sticking to me. Now as I take it around, it may start to buckle though. Hmm. What I definitely don't want to do is accidentally glue it to the cardboard because it is trying to do that. not liking how this is going. It's going to be hard to get this to turn. All right. Hmm. I may just let this dry for a few minutes. Okay. I have attached the pearl trim to the tablecloth. Uh, I had to do it by means of hot glue, a silicone mat, um, because I kept burning. Anyway, we now have a finished tablecloth. We will try to fit it on our racer. That works pretty well. I had wanted it to kind of stick out and cover up the car a little bit. So it does, but I think it won't interfere with the wheels, which is important. I think that I may attach this uh, and the tea set possibly with hot glue. Let's see here. Probably going to need to. I've got a hot glue station across the way. Um, so I'll probably have to take this away and glue it and bring it back. Okay, I have taken some hot glue and put it on the bottom plate underneath the tablecloth and then put it on the tablecloth and then put my next serving tray on top of the tablecloth um, with glue, hot glue. So now we've got a little table. It's not exactly level, but it does cover up the car, which is, I don't think, a requirement. I just thought that it would be fun to have it like that. At the end of this, I will have a little video of the racer running around. I think this has adhered pretty well. So now I'm going to take another little pause here and go and hot glue the um, go and hot glue the uh, tea set to the top of the tray.
Okay, it looks like I can reach to be able to glue this on camera. I did not paint the bottoms uh, of my tea set because I really did not want to have to worry about whether or not the paint would adhere to the, to the glue. And it's okay because it's not visible. I'm going to do place settings because probably not a lot of people have the place settings, a full place setting on here. This set actually came with some spoons, but I wasn't terribly impressed with the spoons. I like the rest of it though. I think this is going to turn out pretty cute. They're not exactly placed perfectly. I'm going to re-glue this one because I don't like the placement. They just barely all four fit on here. So I'm going to fix that. There. They're all evenly placed now. Not that that's a requirement. Alright, so I'm going to take my teacups and I'm going to put some glue on the bottom of them too. all of the handles pointing out except for that one. don't know what it is with that one place setting but I'm having a time with it. There we go. I think that looks pretty even. All right we'll let it dry for a second.
that's pretty dry. So here we have our finished teapot racer, complete with tablecloth and all. So that's pretty fun and actually it feels pretty secure. <laughs> we'll see if it can handle an obstacle course uh, if I can get it to the convention but uh, for now I'm going to pause this and uh, see if I can't take it outside and do a little video of it running. So here we have our teapot racer in the wild. Uh, it's going to be a little difficult for me to operate it considering it takes two hands but here goes and I'm holding the camera as well. But I feel like that should be a whole lot of fun. to just have a little tea set racing around. Thank you for joining me today. This has been How to Make a Teapot Racer.